Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing two of the recent collections from MAC, and it's the Prep for Glamour collection and the Preta Paper collection, if I'm saying that right. But first, if you're wondering why I'm in a robe, um, I just bought it yesterday from Victoria's Secret and I love it. And it's really hot here in Philadelphia, and I haven't decided what I'm going to wear yet. So that's why I'm in a robe. And second of all, I know my roots are coming in. I just got my hair cut and dyed. That's why my bangs are now shorter. Um, but they still kind of fall on my face. But I hate my roots. I'm going to dye them tomorrow. Um, so just ignore that. But first, on to the two collections. I'm going to try and be fast because I only have 10 minutes. And I have two bagfuls to show you. So first, I'm going to start with Prep for Glamour. And a lot of these products were in my April Favorites video. I'm going to start with the skincare product, and it is the Skin Refined Treatment Zone, or the Skin Refined Zone Treatment, Soin, whatever that means. And I heard about this from a few people on YouTube, and what you do is on clean skin, you, um, you rub, rub it in, and it's right around here, wherever you have large pores, and it's supposed to shrink your pores. It says, clinical tests show an immediate reduction in the look of visible pores by 37%, and over time, this product reduces clogged pores by over 25%. The appearance of pore size shrinks to almost two-thirds of their original size. Now, I've only used this a few times. I started breaking out around here, so I stopped it for a while, um, but I am going to start to test it out again, um, but I do like it. And now on to the grease paint stick. I think I called it a shade stick before, but it's the grease paint stick in Dirty. And it's just a golden brown color. Looks like that. And it has a sharpener right here. You just pull it off and it's a sharpener. So I use this as a base for this eyeshadow, or any eyeshadow, but I've been using it with this eyeshadow, and it's the Shadow in Prep for Glamour. It's almost exactly like Satin Taupe, but Satin Taupe is gorgeous, and so is this. And it looks like that. So it's really, really, really pretty. Um, you can see the, the shadow and the shade stick together. Um, I just think it looks really pretty. And then, this didn't come out with that collection, but I got it that day, and it is the Vanilla Shadow, and I got this to use as a highlight color, and it's really, really, really pretty. My bangs keep falling in my face. Um, so on to the Prada Paper collection. I got a lot of stuff from that collection. I really, really liked it. I'll start with the shadows. I feel like I'm missing something here, um, but I'll start with the shadows. And the first one is... Um, this purple one it's called memorabilia and it's sort of a dirty purple color would be the only way to describe it it looks really dark here um, but it's a really pretty purple it is a darker colored purple so this would be perfect for the crease and then you could smoke it out with um, maybe like the great pigment or something like that but I haven't tr really tried this yet but I'm definitely gonna try it and the next two I've been using almost every single day, actually, and it is Gazette Gray, which is actually not gray at all. It is a brown color with golden, like, sparkles in it. Um, it looks like this. I've been using this in my crease, and I have it on right now. And it's really pretty. It's a little bit lighter than Prep for Glamour, as you can tell. Um, and I've been using it with this shadow on the lid. It's called Tissue Weight. And this also came out with that collection. And it's kind of like a peachy color, a peachy, corally, pinkish color. And it says it's a frost. But honestly, I don't think it looks anything like a frost. Um, I really, really like it. So I've been using this on my lid. Gazette Grey in my crease, and the next shadow, which is permanent, and it's called Club, in the outer corner, and I have it on right now, if you can kind of tell, and it's like a greenish, I'm running out of fingers, 
Um, it's like a greenish brown, almost, if you can see that. So this is def this just says it's a satin, but this looks more like a frost to me. So I don't know what's up with that. But I like those shadows. And also from the Prada Paper Collection, I got the, um, I don't know what this is called, the Chromographic Pencil in NC15 NW20. And I used this on my waterline. And it's kind of dirty because I've been using it with mascara and the mascara has gotten on it. But I just like using this for daytime. Like I do, if I want to do something more um, smoky for daytime, I usually do this look that I have on right now and just put this in my waterline. Um, and it kind of makes it more appropriate for daytime. So it looks like this, which you can't even really see that well. But it's really, really pretty. And they say that you can use this everywhere except on your lips because it's not t tested um, for that but I don't really use this as concealer or anything I really just use this for my eyes but I really do like it and then in between those two sh MAC tr shopping trips I bought two lipsticks one is Saint Germain which I talked about in my April favorites and I finally got my hands on it and I love it and it's gorgeous and after I show you guys these two lipsticks, I really don't need any more lipsticks. I am looking for one more, which I will do a video about all these lipsticks um, as soon as I, I get it. That's what Saint Germain looks like. It's gorgeous. And the other one I got, which looks better for tan skin, I think, and it's the one that I have on now. And I saw it in um, the Hot Tranny Messes one of his videos and I loved it and I had to have it and it's the lipstick in um, Pink Nouveau and it's a Barbie pink color for tan skin it's one on the bottom and I have it on now and I just I'm really obsessed with this I could tell you right now this is going to be in my May favorites along with Tissue Weight and Gazette Grey and probably Club and the Chromographic Pencil. I can tell you that right now, those are going to be in my May favorites. And the last thing I got, I got the um, these lashes yesterday. I went to MAC looking for the new Dazzle Glass collection or whatever they're called, but apparently they don't come out until Thursday. So I'm going to go back tomorrow and check it out. But I was going to a work party um, yesterday, so I bought false lashes and they put them on me. And they're the false lashes in number 36. And they're a blackish brown color. And they're winged out towards the ends. And they're really natural looking. So I would suggest checking these out. They're kind of expensive. They're about $14, but they're totally worth it. So that is it for my two recent shopping collections. So thanks for watching.